What's up, y'all? I thought I would jump on here real quick and share um, some of how I go about writing little parts or coming up with little hooky parts in production music. Pick this off of one of the comments that you guys have left. Thank you very much for those. So building up the chorus of this song and I'm coming up with a, a little a little guitar part. So there's, there's four things that are important um, to me when figuring out these little things. The right guitar, um, the right amplifier sound, the right pick, because pick, pick material makes a difference in how things sound, and then how hard or soft you play the part. So I'm not going to attack this really hard. This part, one of them I'm going to attack a little hard, but the low part, I'm going to attack real soft. And here's the, here's the difference. <coughs> Turn that up a little bit. So, if I play it soft, so you can hear the difference. It speaks a little more, it kind of blooms, it doesn't sound real compressed from the beginning. And then I'm going to add an octave part too. It's going to be the same. So, but this one I might want to play harder because if I play it soft, so I might want to play. It. That I'll experiment with that one. So let's do the low part first. I'm going to play a bar before you guys will just hear me record these down. Um, actually, before I do this, I'll play you what it sounds like without it. the idea. So let's go ahead and record the low part here. All right, here we go. Now we'll go back and I just have a little spring reverb on that part here. So I'll solo it up real quick. This is what it sounds like. You can actually hear, I actually attacked the first part of it a little harder than I wanted to, but it sounded good in the track. And so I'm not going to overthink those things. So I you can over polish things and I'm just going to leave that, but the, the, the majority of it speaks the way I want it to low. So I'm going to go ahead and double that as an octave up. And, um, this one, I'm going to try playing it soft the first time and harder the second time around in the chorus. And we'll see how that sounds. one more time and have the part up higher so that you guys can hear it a little bit better.
So I'll solo up now the two parts together. You guys can kind of hear how that sounds. I'll cut out the silence. <laughs> example again without those parts in there without the octaves That's, uh, there's just a little melody thing I add to the chorus, double it up, octaves apart, um, picking the right guitar, something really nice and open, not too distorted. So there you go. There's your tidbit. Until next time, see y'all. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell.